This is how to solve for n or years using a formula and also your financial calculator. Let's start with the formula. So we're using simple numbers just to show you this little half, but we have an interest rate of four, present value of one, future value of three. So you're gonna first fill in your future values, so that's three, and then you can put present value next to it because um, present value times three will equal the future value, as you can see. And then don't fill in present value. And then we can go one plus 0.04, turn it into a decimal, of course, and then n. This is what we're trying to solve. So what you can do now is divide by PV on both sides. So this will cancel out this over here. Obviously, you didn't have to go through all these steps, but I'm just showing you because, well, the numbers are easy, so when it gets more complex, it'll be uh, easy to follow. So then we go 3 equals 1.04 times n, or to the n power. And you might be like, okay, what do we do now? We gotta throw back math back in high school. You use either log or ln to get n over here. So let's just use log for this example. You're gonna go n equals log three over log 1.04. And I'll show you how to do this on your calculator. On this kind of calculator, you can just go log three, enter, and then log 1.04, enter, divided by, and there we go. I'm getting 28 rounded down, 29 rounded up, because your financial calculator is going to, even if it's like 28.01, it's going to round up, so it's kind of interesting, but... 28, basically, 29 on the calculator is the number we're looking for. There we go. Now, let's use our financial calculator and see if this checks out. So, what you're going to want to do is, we have our numbers over there, so 4 is the interest rate. Don't turn it into a decimal for this one. Then your present value is 1, and it's going to need to be negative, so CHS, PV, zero payments. Future value is 3, and then you press N to get your solution. 29, there we go. Good job.